Greetings all you foamers. Welcome back to another Engines of CP video. Or is it CPKC? I don't know, nor do I care. I still call them CP. And yes, I am using AI to voice it because my voice sounds cringe. Anyways, today's video is going to cover the most boring locomotive on Canadian Pacific's roster. The General Electric ES44 AC. In 2003, GE rolled out a all-new locomotive to comply with the FRA's new Tier 2 emission standards, and that locomotive is the ES44 AC. This locomotive was basically an upgraded AC 4400 CW, with better AC traction in the brand new high adhesion trucks on most models for more traction, a modernized cab, a all-new 12-cylinder GVO 12 engine instead of a GE 167 FDL, and the most notable and iconic feature, the bigger radiators to accommodate the GVO 12. The ES44 AC model name is an abbreviation of things describing it. The ES stands for the Evolution Series. The 44 stands for the 4400 horsepower it outputs, and the AC stands for AC traction. When GE rolled out these locomotives, every railroad around like CN, CSX, UP, NS, BNSF, and KCS purchased them like the PS5s back in 2020. They even made it all the way down on Faramex in Mexico. After testing, they found out the GVOs were super reliable and much quieter than a Thundercab SD70 ACE. CP purchased 289 of them to phase out the aging SD40-2s. These units came equipped with nicely tuned first-gen K5HLs and later models having second-gen K5HLs. Here's a few examples. Like them, there are some odd balls among them, for example, CP8815 with a wild K3L, or 8790 with a transconic E-Bell. An ID also like to add that CP painted two units, 8781 and 8757, two units that have been featured on this channel, into an orange color. 8757 with radial trucks has been painted into the Every Child Matters unit for Orange Shirt Day on September 30th, for Canada's National Day of Reconciliation for the Indigenous, and 8781 for the Hop Hog Lloyd St. John Express. The ES44 ACs tend to be on almost every train I hear about tagged with a AC44 CWM, and when I don't hear about them, it's either a AC4400 CW leader or it's a night train, and since times are cold, now I don't want to go out at night for a train if it has power that can come back going west towards uptown Toronto. But that's all for now. There isn't really much to say about these locomotives. Maybe if it was a SD60 I could. But that's a video for another time. If you like these types of videos, like and subscribe for more, and tell me what locomotive I should do next. But this is the GTA Railfan signing off.